One of the ugliest defects that we see with the picture quality today is color banding. Sometimes it just, it sucks, okay? It looks so bad. And when you look at the sky, it's just horrendous, especially on HDR. And some of these TVs come with the option to smooth out the gradients. But unfortunately, when you're playing your games, especially LG absolutely loves to lock settings, to not let you use it, and even if you force it using the color control app on a PC, I tested that myself, I can change this to high. It doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't work. So how can we solve that issue? Okay, we heard that QD OLEDs, they are supposed to have a better native gradation. So maybe if you compare side by side one of these uh, LG OLEDs or any WRGB OLEDs with a QD OLED, and an example like this, maybe the QD OLED might have a smoother gradient, okay? It might look a little bit better. But here's the thing. There are some games where I don't see color banding, okay? And if it, if it is there, it doesn't bother me. It's so small that it doesn't matter. So in my opinion, the color banding is on the source. And here's the proof. Fixed. <laughs> it's just one click. Look, before, after, before, after, <laughs> okay? So basically what I'm gonna share with you right now is a TV upgrade. <laughs> it's that simple. This is a TV upgrade. Look at this, before, after. <laughs> Let me get the camera closer because you might not believe this. Look at this, before, after, before, after. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so what are we doing here? This works on the PC only, okay? I don't want to, I'm gonna put it on the title, okay? Because I know this is a most needed uh, feature, okay? Unfortunately, it only works on the PC because we are using Reshade again, okay? I'm gonna share with you the settings I am using for this specific example. So now this might need some fine tuning for other games. I will test that. I'm gonna share in the future if I have a more global solution. But for now, give this a try. You're gonna be blown away. <laughs> I'm telling you, it just, it goes from absolute trash <laughs> to perfect. This is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, we're fixing the color banding completely, okay? So now here's what I'm using with Reshade, link in the description of the video, I'm sure, you know, if you play games on the PC, Reshade is like very popular. Just download Reshade and use this shader that is called D-Band, D-Band, that's it. <laughs> you turn on that shader and then I'm gonna share with you the settings I am using because you can increase the effect of the smooth gradation, okay? So what I'm using here is uh, this standard deviation threshold in 0.007, the Weber radio threshold, I change it to 0.08, and then I increase the radius, and max out that uh, radius to 32, and then the iterations to four. Okay, so all the color <laughs> banding removal power enabled, unleashed <laughs> for my LG C1 OLED. And this is just amazing because you see, I've been recommending a lot of auto HDR tricks, especially when you do that, you get color banding because you have eight bits, <laughs> okay? So, this is making right now, this auto HDR trick that I am using, it's just absolutely flawless. <laughs> like, if I look at that zone, that's the maximum peak brightness that my TV can push. The contrast of the image, absolutely flawless. Link in the description of the video where I explain how to get this set up. It is basically what I am using is this game is SDR, I am opening the game on SDR, it doesn't support auto HDR or native HDR at all. And it looks like this, 
because I am using an ICC profile to fix the gamma on Windows 11. Link in the description of the video where I describe how to do that. And then I am using the SDR HDR slider. Max that out. And then on my LG C1 OLED, all the LG OLEDs have these options. Even the LG LCD TVs too. We come here to this secret menu, 1113111, and you select Master in Pick Max ELL 540 because that SDR HDR slider on Windows 11 has a max ELL that is almost 500 nits, okay? So that is going to push the brightness when you use tone mapping off, okay? And if you need it even brighter, you can use dynamic tone mapping, which also works with this. So I'm using tone mapping off. That's it. This looks amazing. <laughs> a super bright picture with perfect contrast. So what needs to be dark is dark. What needs to be bright is bright. Like nothing looks washed out. No color banding, okay? This is, it looks like the best native HDR you've ever seen because it is as bright as my TV gets with no color banding, okay? Perfect contrast, no black level rays. This is just absolutely amazing. And here's the thing, it always works. <laughs> this works for every game. It doesn't require the developer support, none of that. That's what's so amazing about this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. There are other ways, okay, that I'm exploring, but here's the thing. I tried the color control app, detering options. I don't see them working at all. I don't see the effect of those options. If you know how to make them work or, or what, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. These detering options are supposed to use the NVIDIA uh, drivers of the GPU to do the detering, to remove the color banding, it doesn't work. And there are other shaders here. There's a shader called D-Banding. Um, I tried, it didn't work as well as this one. And this one would be interesting to get it working because it has an option to only apply that smooth gradation to the sky, which is, is most of the time, that's where you see the color banding, okay? So there might be other ways, but this is the absolute best way that I've found so far. And I don't see any, any side effects so far. The only side effect is the performance, okay? It, it, does, it does take a hit. The performance does take a hit. So right now I am getting 108 frames per second, but, but I am CPU bound. For some reason, this game um, is taxing the... It does, it's not letting me get 120 FPS and the, C, the GPU is at 73% for some reason. I don't know what's going on here. So if I turn this off, my GPU utilization goes down to 65%. So when I turn it on, it goes from 65 to 75, 76. So it is like a, like a more than, like a 10% hit basically on the, on the CPU, on the GPU, which is not insignificant, okay? This is, this is using the, the GPU uh, heavily but you don't have so it depends on the on the values that you use here maybe you don't have to increase this that much I just max it out <laughs> to get the most powerful effect so you can fine-tune it depending on the game maybe you just need to remove the color banding a little bit so you don't get that performance hit but aside from that performance hit I don't see any defects it is just not not a problem you might see some changes but these changes are good for example right now when i look at the floor it looks pixelated let me show you look at the floor right now it looks pixelated see before after i don't think my camera can capture this pixelation these are like a squares you see these squares on the floor it is not detailed this is not detailed that i want to see these are like a squares that are pixelated after, after, you see, before, after. It is making, it is smoothing out that so nicely. It, it looks perfect after, before, after, before, after. Again, this is not detail. It is not detail. It is pixelation. It looks very, very ugly. Very, very, let me make it even closer. See if my camera can capture that.
before, after, before, after. The camera is moving because I am holding it on my hand. Before, after, before, after. You see? So you might see other changes for sure. This is affecting everything, uh, but in, in a good way. I see that it is it is much better with this uh, applied. So not only on the sky, in other places also, where you might see color banding. So yeah, man, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you test this. This is a TV upgrade, in my opinion, a TV and a monitor upgrade. <laughs> this works for all TVs and monitors, of course. It's absolutely amazing, man, because right now, I don't see any defects on the on the picture. No defects. No defects. Per perfect color saturation, perfect black levels, perfect brightness, perfect contrast, no color banding. It's like, what else do you want? <laughs> this is just absolutely flawless. So yeah, before, uh, also, before I end the video, because always someone asks me, this is just a game I installed because it's, uh, <laughs> the name of the game is uh, Plasma. <laughs> Okay, look at the name of the game is Plasma. It's a, your engineering playground. <laughs> so that's all what we do here. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.